All right, back on the grind, gents. Let's get a win today and make sure we actually come out on top. We're not going to start with a loss. Well, if you play the way you've been playing in previous episodes, we're headed to a loss. You need to step up with your rotations because every time you see the ball, it's like you want to mindlessly dive at it and hope something gets through the deep third. Focus up, Donald. It does seem like Donald is always the one who is choking up when he tries to do stuff that isn't cherry picking or constantly waiting for a pass. Bro needs to learn it ain't about him and he don't need to hit a squishy ceiling shot every time. I mean, honestly, how many times do you go for solo plays, Donald? Pass it once, for Christ's sake. I do pass, you guys are just never there. I can't take the option if I'm not given an option. You want an NFL quarterback to rip it downfield when there's no one downfield? No, I can't pass if I don't have a teammate there. You can indirectly pass or something. Throw that off wall if you've got guys challenging. You don't always have to go directly into the opponents and expect them to just let you clip on them. We're just saying you never use your teammates. Maybe because your toupee doesn't have hairspray in. Covering your eyes and shit, probably the reason I don't think you just don't have a brain, so you don't pass because of that. I don't pass because you don't give me options like I said. You know what, screw it. I don't pass because passing is a sign of weakness. It shows you need assistance to get down the field. I don't need assistance. I get the ball. I'm sending that shit back net. Good shot, Joe. God knows how you got that free. If you would watch the replay, you'd see that the kid passed to me. Man was trying to pass back, but his teammate overextended, causing it to come to me. I played them like a book. You mean you played them like a fiddle? How do you play someone like a book? Are you okay, Joe? Like, what the fuck did you just say? He clearly played them like a book. Holy shit, I'm clipping, sweet. Oh, fuck, I missed. Oh, great, Joe and his stupid ass second doubled. Was wondering how this would end up in a goal, and you lowlife lurches both go for the same ball. You should probably communicate that. At least we didn't call out a clip that didn't happen after the fact. That's probably worse than letting the ball go in the net. It's sarcasm, you baboon. I knew I was going to miss that shit, so I decided to call it out before you toxic-ass players did. Not trying to hear how I missed after I already know I missed. Holy Joe, can you please get off my ass? You're right up on me, and it's causing us to be out of position. Put some thought in your placement on the field, please. Whoa, why is everyone coming after me all of a sudden? You'd think I did something wrong. I was going for that ball Obama, but had to listen to Donald's monologue on some random ass shit that I already forgot about. You know, everything could be solved if we just score. Newsflash, if you score, all your problems are solved. World hunger, score a goal in Rocket League, you're cooking food then. War, yeah, no more war if we just, you know, score. Shut up, Joe, you're tossing this match. Joe's dementia might have hit the thrusters. Shit's progressing faster than ever now. I'd be surprised if he made it out of this game without having a coherent thought. Here's a thought, Obama's a bitch. That coherent enough for you? The obvious line is obvious. Everyone already knows that. Give us something spicy, Joe. Anything else other than what you just said. I could come up with better, not sealing the deal on your sanity. I got you. Donald is an orange spray-painted ape that escaped a zoo. The only reason he looks like that orange guy from the Lorax is because it was the first movie he saw out of the zoo. So he took the shape of him and decided he would live amongst us instead of living for the trees. Damn it, Joe, stop talking about Donald. It makes him play worse. You're going to hurt bro's feelings. This old man is literally going down a dusty trail with little to no hope in his sanity ever recovering. I mean, what was that comparison? What are you talking about? The only reason you thought of the Lorax is because you see that shit every day while Jill spoon feeds you applesauce and jello. Only reason I thought of the Lorax is because you're literally the orange fucker in that movie. On my mother, you are the equivalent look and maybe just maybe only a few hundred times fatter. Bros out of breath playing Rocket League, how out of shape can you get? I don't know, whatever your peak is, that's how out of shape you can get. Just because I'm on the fatter side doesn't mean I'm in worse shape than you. You're honestly just old as fuck and it makes you out of shape because of your age. You know, you need to realize I don't choose to be out of shape. You can choose it like those two sisters who said, I pay my bills, my bills are paid. Forgot the name, but I honestly thought you were one of them. And just like the Titanic, we're going down. Y'all need to some arguing so much, otherwise we're just gonna lose. We're not gonna win if you're at this level of toxic play. Now we're gonna win, the toxic play always works. Every time we do it, we play 100 times better. Trust the process, Obama. 
like you should have trusted your advisors when they said to pull out of the Middle East. Good shot, shitter. See Obama. Trust it. Trust the future. We're going to win this if we're toxic. We always win if we're toxic. That's how it has always worked. Well, how it worked recently, we didn't know it was effective before that. I'd rather put more faith in a Russian roulette game with a Beretta than you guys coming in clutch to win us this game. Oh, wow, that's toxic. Shooting this in their shit. Wait, they just own gold. Well, they might be worse than us. Worse than you may be your dog water compared to me and Obama. Well, dog water compared to me, Obama hasn't really shown up this game. Man's on vacation like you've been for 300 days of your presidency. Oh, they're BMing in the chat. I think they're tossing. Shoot at Obama. They won't go for it. Yes, they are tossing. We win this game. Okay, so we just got lucky. These kids started crying after the own goal. We wouldn't have won otherwise, mark my words. We would have just instantly took an L. Bro, Obama is the only person that would get mad for a win. We did our part and tilted them off. What more do you want? The toxic play is helping us win. Bro's just mad that he wasn't right and the toxic play is effective. Stay on the bottom of the leaderboards, bitch, and let us cook. You didn't do anything this game, Obama. Oh, Sleepy Joe finally wakes up to have one solid game and thinks he's going to be zen. Bro, you need to get knocked down a couple of pegs. You're not him. You're an old man who can't walk into a grocery store by himself without having people think that he is a lost child. Bro, lost child, what are you on about? I'm not a lost child. I can make you a lost child if you want. You want that? I got the CIA on speed dial. Don't test, bro, because you'll fail. Whoa, Joe, you're not supposed to say that shit. You're going to get us in trouble with the feds. They don't know we know about that because they're a third-party department that has the potential to, you know, clappity, clap, clap, skiddity, fiddity your ass. Bro, I'm the president. I got a button on my desk that could send us into a stone age. I don't give a shit what those nerds at the CIA want to do or think they can do. Test me, bro. Can't give you a test if you're not coherent enough for it. Your lost man, a very lost and sad old man making hollow threats because he doesn't have an off switch. Relax, Joe, we're winning stop hard tilting and having a spasm like the special ed kid when he doesn't get an extra scoop of applesauce at lunch. Bro, I swear I had someone do that one time. Kid got hard tilted because he was stealing extra food and then decided he was going to get mad when confronted about it. I'm just saying, you guys need to stop ganging up on me. This isn't a damn street fight. Y'all act like I'm just going to lie down and take everything you're dishing on me. Hey, you! It's fine. Stop worrying about that. We're winning out. We won this one. We're not going to start getting mad at each other for real because that isn't even what leads to our success. It's being a fun toxic, not a toxic toxic. What the shit is a toxic toxic? Is that just you full-blown roasting someone to hurt their feelings? Bro, that's literally what we do every time we touch this game. It's literally what we do. We touch any game. We're cooking each other like an easy bake oven. We're like a Gordon Ramsay kitchen. We're on Hell's Kitchen that was actually in hell. We're a fire-roasted brimstone.